So how do you become a better skills trainer or coach? I prefer the word coach. Um, but yeah, how do you become better so you can grow your business and, and help more kids? My name is Nick Aldero, and I'm a client success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports. On top of having my own basketball business, um, now we help. Uh, I've joined a team from Coach Ben Neighbors, and we help uh, all coaches in all sports, but my specialty is basketball. We help them grow their business. So if you're looking to connect after this, text me the word grow, G-R-O-W to 732-908-2315. I will respond directly. It's not a bot. It's me uh, if you want to connect. So how can you improve as a skills trainer slash coach? We'll go with skills skills coach for now because that's the term I, I prefer. So number one, do you practice your communication skills? Uh, and encompassing the communication skills are what's your tonality like? Do you speak clearly? Do you know how to, do you know when to pause? Do you know how to keep attention? Uh, do you know your audience where you know when to talk and when to shut up and move on to something else? Uh, so there's a lot more detail than that, but that's the first part. Number two, can you teach with details? Any Joe Schmo rec coach, um, and I'm not knocking rec coaches because you know they're mostly volunteer. They're just volunteering their time out of the goodness of their heart because they want their kid to be able to play on the team, right? Uh, so that's very admirable. But any rec coach or dad can tell a kid to dribble up right, dribble up left. So what details are you adding? What's the position of their back foot? Is it an open foot or closed? Um, you know, can you teach them the different types of dribbles? Pocket dribble, V dribble, turn dribble. Um, do you know footwork, right? Dribble step, motion step, um, you know, things like that. I'm not going to get into all the other details, but those are, I'm just throwing out some terms. So like, do you teach with details where you separate yourself from the average team coach or skills trainer slash coach? Okay. Number three, do you have a program with a culture? Right. So like, what are your values of the program? What do you, what are your expectations? Are you just doing lessons and sessions only? No, there's nothing wrong with clinics and, you know, things like that, throwing things together, you know, you know, pop up things here and there, but you can't run a full-time business like that. You need a year round program where you have a culture, you have standards, uh, values that, that can really help kids. Number four, um, what value are you adding outside of your in-person training sessions? Do you give assignments? Do you have a classroom for the kids? Can, do you go on Zoom with them? Do you talk to them outside of when uh, you're just with them in person, right? What added value do you have? Okay, so those four things can help you become a better coach and grow your business and help more kids, okay? Um, if you're looking to connect, and, and um, see if we're a good fit to help you grow your business and help more kids. Text me the word GROW, G-R-O-W, to 732-908-2315, or you can book a call with me. Uh, the link is in the description. All right, I'll see you next video.